Guys, so this is a quick outfit of the day. Mm, it's so good. Was that a fart in combination? <laughs> that was a. I love you. My buddy, my buddy. It's so cringy stuff. Oh my gosh, I don't remember the last time we spoke. It's been a while. We just finished shooting some like Christmassy um, stuff on the stairs. Still leftover props over there. And now we're gonna pop to Target and then her Much hoopla. We finally made it to our favorite place. I have a quick return to do. I feel like you guys are crooked. We've been trying to go to the Christmas tree farm because I wanna see what the hype is about real Christmas trees, right? Because to me, it doesn't make any sense to get a real Christmas tree. Because literally, you're killing. Exactly, it's gonna die. It's not sustainable, but people love it, so I want to know why. What are you trying to get me to buy now? This, you love them though. Why do not? I? Yes, do I do. love them or do you love them? You love them. You always get them. All the really? Time. You get. You used to get them all of the time. Well, today I don't love them. No, you have to. Oh. No, no, no. You've been, you've been great. Can't wait to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I am. I'm gonna put it, guys. So we just wrapped our little group We're Christmas done. shoot. Here is our awesome photog. You better shout yourself out. Sorry, let's drop. Wow, guys, look here, look here, slow down. Yo, okay, oh take it back, take it back, take it back now, y'all. <laughs> Um, and of course, I'm here with all the gorgeous ladies. What's your Instagram handle, my dear? Uh, the underscore Ivory mm -hmm. underscore girl. Okay. <laughs> and what's yours, the beautiful B? Okay. Hi, my Instagram is le.beat. Okay. And of course, the maven that put it all together. Yeah, darker berry. Okay. Y'all, that's a wrap. I'll come back to you guys later. <laughs> guys, so we finally made it to get some food. We are at Bip how do you, what do you, how do you pronounce this? Bib Pop? Baby? Baby Bop? Yeah, I'm about to dig in. Let me show you guys before I mess it up. So there it is. It looks gorgeous. I got some it's like cucumber, carrots, beef, of course. I think she got chicken. I got beef too. Oh, you got beef too? And then she got chicken and kale. And cabbage, right? Red cabbage, very healthy. <laughs> We're at the Christmas uh, market. Market. That's right next to the portrait gallery. Um, it's really cute. I think I like the one in. Um, I don't know how many of these they have, but they have one in Baltimore, just like this as well. the brown girl co-op and we're about to go in and see you guys remember I brought you guys with me last year when they opened up so today's their one year anniversary so we are popping <laughs> is dragging me to the Christmas tree farm. But well, we've never been to the Christmas tree farm. Don't you want to go? No, it's just like a regular Christmas tree, except it's real. And there's technically no point. I have no clue which way we're supposed to be going to these roads. Uh, so back roady. Oh huh? god, I went the wrong way. Oh, are we lost? Turn right onto Hill Good Park. lord. <laughs> you guys, I thought I was recording this whole time. I was not recording. <laughs> We finally made it to the Christmas tree farm. 
you can definitely see what people mean when they talk about like how the Christmas trees have a certain type of smell and it smells really nice and woodsy. Um, really like this giant one right like here. Make so comment down there. below, are you team fake or real? Guys, okay, so we stopped and got some hot chocolate. I'm gonna get some marshmallows. They have like a little fire over there where you can roast um, stuff. AKA only marshmallows. <laughs> AKA marshmallows. Alex is of course gonna roast some because he's Alex. You should and roast then, some with me. And then they have a whole like building where they're selling like um, accessories and things like that. So I might pop in there. So this is the like inner part of the Christmas tree farm. It's super cute. Very festive. Very Christmas. Look at that giant wreath right there. Alrighty guys, oh my gosh. This week went by so quick. Um, right now I'm in the kitchen, I'm about to make some dinner. I want some going out food. So I'm in the mood for like, junkish type, you know, I wanna say pub style food. So I decided I'd make some for myself. I'm gonna, I was gonna make fish, but then I don't know, we're out of fish, so I guess we ain't making fish, but we do have shrimp. So I'm gonna make some fried shrimp, um, put a, um, bur put a, um, burgers in, and then we're gonna have it with fries, I'm gonna make my salad. And while I'm here, I'm just looking randomly. The old lens for this camera was sitting here, so if you're following me on Instagram, you know that I had like a mini meltdown because my lens broke. Well, I don't know if it was because my lens broke, but other things that were happening that was kind of like stressing me out. So yeah, this was the lens. And if I do it, whoop, well, you guys just saw that. But anyways, I'm so grateful that I was able to pick up another one. It wasn't like, I was so scared. I thought it was gonna be super expensive. I mean, it wasn't free, but I'm so grateful I was able to pick up another lens. So let's start cooking. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna be doing IG stories as well, so I don't know how I'm gonna do all this. IG stories, vlogging, the life of a content creator. I'm trying to think of what to start first. I think I'm gonna put in the fries first. So shrimps, then de-veined, spiced, things looking good. show you my plate in a second. Testing, what do you think? Let me try it. Why are you washing? They already know you tried it because you took a bite already. Mm, it's so good. Was that a fart <laughs> in combination? <laughs> <laughs> that was a mm, and fart combination. Is that what happened just there? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey guys, so this is the finished feast. Okay. Here for all of it, mm. all of it. I have the um, cookies baking right now. Mm, 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 mm. Happy Saturday, guys. So yeah, <laughs> last time y'all saw me was last night when we were eating. I am on my way to a holiday party. Um, it is like the launch of the Hanifa showroom. I really wanted us to all get ready together and do the whole shebang, but your girl was running late. I'm actually like 40 minutes late, so <laughs> I'm almost there now. So I'm excited to take you guys along with me. Guys, okay, so we are in the showroom. We have to try stuff on. I'm here with friends. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying for what I don't think y'all can hear me in this music playing. But um we're about to try some looks on from the collection. <laughs> this looks so good. But yes. I think it goes really great. Especially with a killer heel too. I love how you pull your mm -hmm. camera out. Yes. <laughs> yes. Guys, so this is a quick outfit of the day. This is just these two, right? Yes, okay. those two. Thank you. And I'm about to try on these pieces. 
but yeah quick outfit of the day this is from Walmart this is the AE jeans I was talking about on Instagram boots you guys have already seen and this jacket is thrifted okay and this is the bag that created this outfit We're currently headed to church for the Christmas service. My mom's right here. Do I hear music already? Well, let's go. That was just the first mile marker. The goal is really over there. And when you get over there, you realize that wasn't the goal either. That was another mile marker. There's another goal ahead of that. Ever realize how goals change as you grow? Yeah. I mean, you're graduating high school. The only thing you want to do is get out your parents' house. I don't care what college it is, I don't care where I'm going, just get me out of here, I can't wait to be free. Then you get out and you get into college, you realize you're free and you're broke. <laughs> so now it's like, no, I can't wait to get out of college so I can get my first job. And you get out of college, you get your first job, and you realize you're still broke. There's nothing wrong with goals. There's nothing wrong with ambition. Matter of fact, the Bible says where there's no vision, people make a reckless life. Happy Sunday, guys. Oh my gosh. I know I have not picked up the camera all day. Today was supposed to be a shoot day, but I was not ready. So yesterday, I don't think I, I okay, I did vlog a little bit. Um, after the Hanifa event, went to church for the Christmas service. Um, and I just came home snuggled up and caught up on um what's that show on the witcher on netflix i'm such a huge lover of period pieces if you love game of thrones and things like that you will definitely want to check out the witcher i did think some of the scenes were kind of exaggerated like they were like stretching it out a little bit but overall if you're you know having an itch for game of thrones definitely check it out anyway so i spent today prepping to shoot just because like i said i didn't prep and what i do by prepping is i basically what i like to do when it comes to outfit planning for shoots and stuff i like to write them down and then i like to try them on because a lot of times when you like when i have an outfit like envisioned in my mind it doesn't always translate on my body so um, the smart money would just be to try things on, but I like the idea of writing things down because it helps me think through. You guys kind of get like a sneak peek um, of what's coming on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me there. <laughs> Patricia off. It is the next day and we're finally heading out to shoot. I'm worried though because it's almost two o'clock and I usually go downtown to shoot which is about like a 20-ish minute drive. Let's hope we can get the three look shot. I don't know I had a really hard time coming putting looks together. I find that my style is very neutral but I find that 
and I hate to say this, but I find that the looks that pop the most on on social media are the looks where I wear color. So I'm trying to incorporate more color into my wardrobe as I wear a brown shirt. <laughs> and it's hard. So I think I need to rejig my wardrobe a little bit, order a few things, because every time I put a look together, I'm always missing something that's like colorful. So I think I need to like order a few filler things that I need in order to make my color dreams come true. I'll probably get there by two o'clock but I'm gonna shoot to leave the house by 12 30 tomorrow the background wasn't really giving me the vibe I was going for the place where I wanted to shoot I usually shoot there on weekends like on Sundays there's nobody around it's like an industrial park today is the what's today Monday we thought I don't know I thought because it's around you know Christmas that they wouldn't be people there there were people there and then somebody was like oh you know I'm not telling you to leave but this is a private property this is private property you know I totally understand that you're taking pictures and I'm not bothering you it's like listen brah if you don't mind what I'm doing then leave me alone why do you need to come and tell me it's private property am I stupid I know it's private property and you know it's crazy because like when you shoot in the city like in Baltimore or like in DC or even in Silver Spring even um nobody bothers you like bruh everywhere is private property except the damn road or a park so here are all the pictures I hope you guys can see um shooting done we did a big grocery shop well, at least big for us because you know it's just alex and i essentially um and i just wanted to buy all this stuff so i don't have to go grocery shopping till the new year um but anyways i went to aldi aldi's like one of my favorite places if you've not gone to aldi like if you don't know about aldi if you don't know you need to go there okay because i bought all the stuff we need for like two weeks for like 100 bucks all right, and you can't beat that. Like we, we did all of our grocery shopping um, for Thanksgiving at Giant and we spent over $200. And to me, it was I was like, Ugh, this is kind of expensive. And I realized it's because I shop at Aldi. So rule number one, Aldi doesn't, makes you pay for bags. So we just always get like one of these big boxes from the store. We've got yogurt in here. Oh, we're making. We're making nachos, so we got a, we got a bunch of nacho ingredients, some fresh cilantro. Um, what else is in here? Feta for my favorite salads. If you're following me on Instagram, you know that I always make the same Greek salad, and this is a must. Um, what else is in here? Oh, we got some bananas. Um, Alex, can you lift up this yogurt, please? All right, so we got some plantains or plantains. Some people say that they didn't have ripe ones, so I'm just gonna force this to ripe at home. Um, cream cheese for breakfast. Burgers. What else we got in here? Tilapia. Sometimes I make grilled tilapia. Sometimes I make like fried one, like fish and chips, like. I did with the shrimp. So good. Um, Alex likes that. Got some bacon for breakfast for Christmas Day. Cheese for our nachos. That. Plus another huge box just like that one was all $100. You can't beat it. Like, comment down below where your favorite place is to shop. Um, for groceries, I am gonna try Amazon Fresh though because alex has been like try amazon fresh Mommy, and I, I, I want to try them fronting. what all these not your favorite place to shop it's target oh yeah that is true target is my favorite place to shop but for groceries though but for groceries all these is my favorite favorite because like i don't really you can buy like a few things from target but my target doesn't have any meats 
So really, you can't do that much shopping at Target. Target. We made it downtown and we are walking to the Christmas market. We almost came tomorrow, but today happens to be the last day. So I have, I hope it's the fun day, okay? I cannot wait to have the German sausages. I hope they're still here this year that we had last year. Alex is over there on his phone, which I'm about to take in a second because we need to participate, okay? We can't spend our whole time on the phone. Okay, we need to. I am that mother. <laughs> I've become the African mother that says, get off your phone. I'm so excited. The sausage people are here. I can see them. We are getting crepes for this guy here because he's obsessed cool. with his crepes. Last time I had crepes was when we went to France. Um, actually, last time we had crepes was well, last year yeah, you when know we that came. Guy. So I grabbed some hot chocolate. <laughs> we are almost finished. <laughs> um, a Baltimorean souvenir from. Um, the little, what is this called? It's like a tree house. Like it says Christmas. Christmas. It says it on it. It says Christmas Village. It says Christmas Village. No, the, that thing. We finally finished at the market. We're headed home now. Alex, come on. The dog is not going to do anything to you. For someone who was raised in the United States and has never encountered a rabid animal, Alex has an unusual phobia. <laughs> what do you for mean? What for, do you mean? For animals. Yeah. We made it back to the house. Oh. And now we're about to make some nachos. Pop in, pop in the vlog. We always oh. make nachos. My it's our hurts. tradition. Alex is lactose intolerant, but he loves his lactose. And he had to go use the nasty porta potty. <laughs> I, peed, I peed up there. I didn't actually sit. No, no. I, Why I you lie to the vlog? Don't lie. No, I didn't. Don't I didn't lie sit. to the people. Y'all, let's make these nachos. You know what? We only I only make nachos once a year. And every year I have to go on Google and look up how to make nachos. Okay? So that's what I'm about to do. What are you doing here? Move. Guys, look at the gloriousness that is the final product. <laughs> Guys, we are about to munch and watch. We got a new TV, so it's still on the floor. Turn off all the lights. Three, two, one. 